this pandemic is a perfect example where、uh, soup kitchen doesn't work. It doesn't work, right? It's silly when they say grab and go when you want people to stay home and then you're gonna come out and then can't get like, what is that? 对自己嘅仔女滚动或者老人，系啊，我真系好感动，好感动。<笑>如果冇你哋咧，我都唔知点样去打嘢，一定会胜利嘅。诶、呃，保佑我哋美国，保佑纽约。A community center based in South Brooklyn. We serve Chinese Americans, predominantly Chinese Americans, seniors who live along the Queens area. It's a gathering place. It's the home away from home for many of our seniors, where we they congregate, have a meal in the morning, meal in the afternoon. We offer them culturally sensitive meals and and just sit down with the friends. You know what we see today around New York, which is completely you know everything close decimated, if for lack of a better word, or You know the surreal emptiness of the street. That was Chinatown back in January.、Right? I think by the time Chinese New Year, which is early this year, it's late January, it was already in that situation. You know the the impact of the coronavirus was hitting our community pretty hard, right? So all the restaurants were empty really early on. One of the conversations that we have with the、uh, uh, restaurant was that the grants and loans doesn't really isn't going to help us. Because it's not a question of capitalization; it's the question of no business, no customers. Right? One of them said to me, he says, "Hey, listen, you can give me a grant; I can pay for part of my expenses, but I still gotta pay the rest of the expenses. You can give me a loan; I have no business; I'm just gonna be incurring debt down the line, right? So, giving me, finding me business and people to come out to eat is the best solution. And around the same time, is when the city decided that we're gonna close our senior center." And we go wait a minute. So the restaurants don't have customers, and I have people who need food. When this thing happened, I said, "Hey, Mr. Restaurant, let's do this. How about you cook all the meals, and then we will deliver the meals to you for you, and keep it open. We are covering a very wide area in Brooklyn. It's not like everyone living in ten blocks from here." Hi. Hi. There's a newspaper. There you go. More meals to go. We gotta go. Thank you. 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 Hi. 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 For whatever reason, you cannot participate. You need to work from home. Just say so. No judging. No, you know, we don't ask why. So I asked that one time. Second meeting, I asked the second time. Third meeting, I just repeated that. So my staff started texting me. Don, we are with you. We want to do this, right? <laughs> they picked it up that I'm maybe being overly sensitive to them, and they actually took the, you know, like Van and one of the one of the staff to say, Don, I cannot tell you we want to do this. This is the right thing to do. Their heart is no. Any, you know, just as big as anyone that's out there, you know, in government or at all levels, because they know to do the right thing. So if they leverage all the independent shops across the city, look, they did this six hundred eighty hot meals in one Saturday. It's a test of who we are, and not as individuals, but as a society. We are part of the solution, and let's not. Create a situation where we end up getting help when we really don't need that help, and we can actually help rebuild this city the other way. Think about what can be done for the rest of the city if we just offer that opportunity to look at us as solutions, not problems.